Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Miracle Makers all around the world and all of my friends in the Miracle Maker, Miracle Maker online community. Eric K. Part here, founder of All the King's Men and your expert mentor. And today I have a message for you, which is if I knew then what I know now. Um, it's a good message I want to share today, but before I get into that, just want to kind of take a little minute to um, just kind of recap and look forward uh, to what's ahead in, in these last few remaining days of National Mentoring Month 2017. And so looking back over this week, it's been a very interesting week. We uh, inaugurated uh, the 45th president of the United States of America. Um, as you all know that by now, Donald Trump is the new president of the United States of America. And um, of course, you know that there's many, many, many <laughs> millions, I'll just say millions of people all around the world who have stood up in protest against the 45th president of the United States of America for various reasons. Uh, many reasons are uh, valid to some um, and unvalid to others. But the fact of the matter is Donald Trump is the president of the United States of America. And whether we like it or not, that means that's a call to action for us, for those of us who are either in support of the president or for those of us who are in opposition to the president. Really, no matter which boat you're in, I believe it's time for action to take place. So that was a big thing that uh, took place. And all over social media, all in the media, it's just a big mess. You know, there's people arguing with each other. There's Christians fighting against Christians. There's women downgrading women. There's men, you know, bashing other men. Blacks against whites. Muslims against Christians. It's just a big mess, right? But even in the midst of all that mess, there's one thing that we should all remember is that the government is not in control. The United States government is not in control of what happens in this world. And those of you who believe what I believe, you know that God is still in control. God is still a good God, and God is the same God he was before Donald Trump became president, and he's going to be the same God from this day forward, even though Donald Trump is the president. So. No matter where you, no matter no matter what side of the coin you're on, we all have to come together and realize that it's a new day, and if we don't stand up for what we believe in, then we will fall for anything. And so, as we move forward and we look forward into the, these last few remaining days, um, this last week of National Mentoring Month, I want to encourage all of you to let me close my door here. I want to encourage all of you to take a look at yourself, take a look at your life, and ask yourself. What is it that I want to be remembered for? Really, ask yourself that. What is it that you want to be remembered for when your days on this earth are gone? And let that resonate with you for a while. And so, um, bringing it on to the topic of mentoring, uh, this coming week, I have a really jam-packed week full of mentoring, some things I'm really looking forward to. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, tomorrow, I'm going to be taking one of my mentorship clubs on a field trip to the Nashville airport. A lot of you know it as BNA. Uh, I see you guys wearing the hats and the t-shirts, and that's cool. Uh, but we're going to be going to take a tour of JetBlue Airlines. A friend of mine, a uh, brother by the name of Samora uh, Emmanuel, is the general manager there. And we met up, and he's come to um, be a mentor at All the King's Men. And we decided to come together to plan out this field trip to take a group of six sixth grade boys to the airport to get a behind the scenes look at how an airline company actually operates from the check-in to the from the baggage check-in to the actual check-in to the line to the, the security line um, all of that we're going to get a first-hand look at how all that takes place uh, and the purpose of this particular field trip is to potentially spark an interest uh, in our boys in something that they may not have other been otherwise been introduced to and so I'm really looking forward to that tomorrow um, but listen, let me get right into this topic for today. Um, as a mentor, and I, and, and I want to preface this by saying, I was listening to my pastor's sermon this morning, and uh, he said something that, that struck a chord in me, it, it, and it took me from listening to the sermon and, and getting it in the spiritual context, and God put it into the context of my life as a mentor. And he simply said a statement, if I knew then what I know now. Mm. You know, as a mentor, I think that's a very powerful statement to reflect on. If I knew then what I know now, wow, what would be different? What would I have done differently? 
And as a mentor, you need to realize that that's what you have to offer. What did you learn from the mistakes that you made in your life? If you knew now what you knew, what, if you knew then what you know now, what would you have done differently? And that's the answer to that question is oftentimes the content or oftentimes can be the content of your mentorship. You know, you don't really have to try to think of anything clever to say to your mentee. You really, it's not a situation where you have to come up with what to say every time or come up with a script or come up with this perfect, you know, um, thing to say to your mentee. That's not what we do as mentors. What we do is we look at our lives and we reflect on the things that we've learned, whether the good things or the bad things. No matter what it may be, we want to reflect on the lessons that we've learned. And then we want to ask ourselves the question. The question, if I knew then what I know now, how would things be different? And whatever that difference is, that's the difference that you need to make in your mentee's life. It's a simple message. You've probably asked yourself that question how many times before? I don't know. Any number of times. But as a mentor, you need to be sure to make sure you need to make sure to ask yourself that question over and over. Because I can guarantee you that someone, somewhere, is going through the exact same situation that you went through. And what you learn from that is what you know now. And so what you know now would have made a difference then. And so there's the question. If I knew then what I know now, what would be different? Think about that. I hope you're having a good month so far. It's day 22 of National Mentoring Month 2017. I was challenged to come live every day this month to give some of my best mentorship tips, my stories, and it just simple advice. And I hope that you've been getting some value from these videos. Um, if you've missed any of these, you can either go to the Miracle Maker Online Community on Facebook, or you can go to my YouTube page, Eric D. K. Park, and you can view these um, videos, all 22 of them so far. I'm going to post them. I haven't posted any from this past week, so I'll be busy getting all those posted this week but if you've missed any of them that's the place that you can go and find these videos just go to youtube.com and just search my name eric k park it'll take you to my page and you can watch all of these videos and you will be able to learn how to do a lot of things as a mentor and you'll just also hear some i want you to see the realness the authenticity of my approach to mentoring if anything all right people I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, I'm about to go watch some NFL playoff games. I'm rooting for my guys, my boys, the Pittsburgh Steelers today. Got a big, bag, got a big game today against the Patriots that no one thinks to, that the Steelers can pull it off, but we've done it before, and they can more than likely do it again. At least that's what I'm hoping today. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons are taking on the Green Bay Packers. That should be a good game. I'm about to go watch that with my brother and just have some good time and fellowship. Hey, I want to end this video by saying, Remember to, remember to take care of yourself. As a mentor, you have to be sure to take care of yourself before you can ever take care of anybody else. So make sure whatever it is you need to do, you need to go out and get a run in, or you need to do some meditation, whatever it is you need to do, you need to do it. In fact, I had to do it today. You know, I've been overwhelmed with a lot of the things that have uh, taken place, not only in, in the, the world, in the United States, but just also in my personal life. And I had to just take a minute to just acknowledge the fact that hey i'm not balanced right now but what i need to do is go spend some time with self-care and now that i've done that i feel better uh, i'm starting to feel re-energized and i'm going to continue on and go spend some more time with uh, my brother today and have some you know just have a good time watching football all right be sure to go to my website ericdkpart.com sign up today to be a part of my growing list uh, I'm building a tribe of people who are committed to being value-driven mentors. I'm on a quest to reach 1,000 of you this year. 1,000. It's not a big number considering there's 7 billion people on this planet. And every one of you has what it takes to be a mentor. So trying to reach 1,000 is a small thing to do. But you can help me by going to my site today, joining my list right there. As soon as you get on the website, you'll see a, a box that says join the list. All I need is your name and your email address, and you are in. And for that, I'm going to instantly send you access to my mentor readiness guide it's an easy to use three-step guide that's going to help you get mentor ready in seven days and not only will you be mentor ready you're going to be a value-driven mentor which is what i'm all about value-driven mentorship all right also while you're on the site be sure to check out my latest book the miracle maker uncovering the hidden miracles and mentorship uh, it's a great book that just goes behind the scenes in my life and talks about some of the things that i've learned from mentorship uh, talks about some of the mentorship stories um, from me either being a mentor or someone mentoring me. I think it's a book that will definitely add value to your mentorship. 
Hope you all are having a great weekend. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Happy Mentoring.